Binance faces regulatory hurdles as Philippine seconds ban on Binance takes effect. Jimmy Aki last updated, March 25, 2024, 1417 ET, 2 minute read. The Philippine Securities and Exchange Commission second has revealed its plan to block local access to Binance, effectively implementing the Philippine seconds ban on Binance. This was contained in a notice published by the financial regulator on March 25. This decision follows the second's accusation of the exchange's continuous offering of various investment and trading opportunities to Filipinos without obtaining the necessary license from the commission. Philippine Seconds Ban on Binance urges Google and Meta to restrict Binance-related adverts. According to the published media briefing, the Philippine Second had previously filed a formal request to the National Telecommunication Commission NTC on March 12, 2024, to block access to the Binance website, applications, and other web pages used by the exchange. The Commission has now deepened its ban on Binance by requesting Google and Meta to block all marketing campaigns related to the crypto exchange in the Philippines. As stated by the Second, all previous campaigns and trade offerings were done illegally as the exchange is yet to secure a license from its agency to solicit investment or create slash operate an exchange as required by Republic Act No. 8799 or the Securities Regulation Code SRC. The regulatory agency had, however, informed residents that the crypto exchange is not authorized to sell or offer securities in the Philippines while also stating that Binance's continuous crypto promotions may have criminal liability. The notice read those who act as salesmen, brokers, dealers or agents, representatives, promoters, recruiters, influencers, endorsers and enablers of Binance in selling or convincing people to invest in its platform within the Philippines even through online means may be held criminally liable under Section 28 of the SRC. This ban is expected to be effective within a three-month period, providing ample time for Filipino traders to close their investment positions held on Binance. Meanwhile, the second chair Emilio B. Aquino has reiterated that the regulatory body believes that Filipinos' continuous access to Binance websites and associated mobile applications poses a threat to the security of the funds of investing Filipinos. It should be noted this latest move by the Philippines second came after issuing a warning notice to Binance on November 28, 2023. The Philippines' seconds ban on Binance serves as a clear warning to other unregulated exchanges operating within the country, underlining the importance of compliance with local securities laws. Binance regulatory blows continue. The Philippine seconds ban on Binance is not an isolated incident, as the exchange has faced increasing regulatory scrutiny worldwide. In 2023, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFTC filed charges against Binance for allegedly operating an illegal digital asset derivatives exchange and evading federal laws. Similarly, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission charged Binance Holdings Limited and ex-CEO Changpeng Zhao CZ for allegedly operating unregistered exchanges, broker exchanges, clearing houses, and the unregistered offer and sale of securities. However, Binance and CZ pleaded guilty to a range of federal charges including anti-money laundering violations and unlicensed money transmission on November 21, 2023. This was after a series of investigations by the second, the U.S. Department of Justice DOJ, and the CFTC. CZ later resigned as the CEO of Binance, which was part of the agreement with the DOJ. CFTC announced on December 18, 2023, that the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Illinois ordered CZ to pay $150 million and the exchange ruled to pay $2.7 billion to conclude enforcement action. At press time, CZ is free on a $175 million release bond but awaits court sentence in reaction to his role in Binance money laundering charges. Follow us on Google News.